Welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. So we're still out here on the beach. This is our fourth flight this morning. And we're going to try catching this ship. And again, what I want to do is, as I mentioned in the last video, I want to kind of catch it crossing the sun. So I want to get some timing uh, uh, just about right of what my field of view is going to be. Now I've also installed the Polar Pro filter on this. Since I'm just shooting uh, normal video and it's sort of a tripod mode, it should be okay. So what I'm going to do is, I got everything set, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and take this up. And I'm just going to let it settle in a minute. And I want to get my orientation out of the gate. So I want to see what this sort of looks like. And kind of frame it up. So there's the ship. I'm going to leave it at a little bit of one-thirds type concept. And I want to take it up. I'm not going to take it too far out, but I am going to take it up. So we have the ship coming into view, which is great. And I want to get it up about 90, 100 feet. And then what I want to do is I want to yaw it a little bit. Kind of get it centered. And I'm going to start video. So we got it up about 90 feet or so. And we got it uh, recording. As you see, the ship's coming into the frame. And again, what we want to do with this B-roll is sort of like what I was mentioning in the last one. So we have the sun up there. Uh, we want to catch the ship crossing the sun. Uh, we got some great clouds in the background. I wish it could gimbal up a little bit more. I have the gimbal all the way up that it will let it up in a standard mode. So I would like a little bit less water than uh, and a little bit more sky. But uh, hey, we'll live with what we got, I guess. And so we're kind of letting it flow down. So again, this has been a great morning. I've uh, been really catching some great video. I love this shooting this B-roll stuff. Um, this is what it's really about, and I love just kind of, you know, coming out here talking with you guys a little bit. Hey, what, what do you guys think about, and I know this is going to be, you know, because I'm going to release this kind of a sequence, but, you know, Mr. Steel leaving uh, Rotor Riot. I think that's kind of interesting. I think that's actually good for Mr. Steel. Um, you know, and I think if he worked on things a little bit, uh, I think he really could build his brand. I really like watching his stuff. Swears a little bit too much. I'm, I'm, I'm not one of those people that are overly offended by swearing, but, you know, when it starts to be, you know, kind of shock jack swearing, yeah, it kind of loses, kind of loses me. Uh, but, you know, I like watching his uh, videos and some of the cool places he gets to fly the FPV. And that's one of the main reasons that I've got the Wakira Pro is uh, I want to try some of that. And uh, again, uh, you know, I'm starting the Old Man's FPV Club. So I tell you what, you want to join the Old Man's FPV Club, subscribe to the channel because you'll see some more of that. Uh, I just need to kind of get the time and the position to kind of fly that, fly some of those. Uh, and I think the walk here is a great copter for that, by the way. So very excited uh, for that. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of kind of glad because you know I don't have anything against rotor riots. So don't think I'm trying to pick on them, but again, they seem to be a little bit too uh, like jackass type. You know the whole I forget the guys that did jackass, um, but I really wasn't a fan of that. You know, like when they blew up the the uh, uh, copters with the bottle rockets and things like that. It's just not you know. I, I think that sends the, a little bit of wrong message. You know, go fly cool places, do cool flights, and that kind of stuff. Hey, I'm all in for that. Um, I like that. But, you know, you get that crazy stuff, and, uh, you know, people get hurt and things like that. That's not that's not cool. Um, but, anyways, that's just my opinion. Obviously, they're very successful. So, this guy's now moving out of... Uh, moving out of frame. I'm going to let him get totally out of frame, because what I want to do is I want to have the whole hyperlapse moving out of frame. And so he's now just moving down there. Battery life is still really, really good. And again, you notice the, uh, so, you know, I've done four episodes out here this morning. Got four batteries. We've flown four times. 
and so we've watched the sun really come up. Um, you know, one of the things, I am going to have to get the Phantom 3 out here again. And probably one of these mornings as it gets a little bit colder. Um, you know, and, and fewer people are out here. And I mean, again, it's, it's pretty desolate. we got one metal detector guy down there. Uh, one of the things you do get at sunrise, people come down here, sit on the benches, watch it. And, and that's one of the reasons I was a little bit late in the first episode. I wanted to kind of, you know, let those people have their quiet enjoyment before I bring a quadcopter out here, right? Um, just out of respect, because I, I don't want, you know, and I think this is one of the important pieces of a drone responsibility is, is, I mean, everybody has their right to quiet enjoyment. So while I can do a lot of things technically, I want to be respectful of, of others and their privileges because, you know, I don't want to come out here and really start, you know, being, as my British friends would say, an arse. And, and offend people and things like that, where they start writing the city council and saying, hey, you know, we got to ban drones. These drone things are evil, you know, because, you know, some guy came out and did this. I, I don't want that. I want to, you know, uh, it's not that critical. This is a hobby just like, you know, them watching, um, you know, the sunrise is a hobby for them, I guess. All right, so I'm going to cut this video, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh, since I've got some pretty good battery life, I'm going to I'm going to cut it down here, and I'm going to I'm going to start the video again, and I'm going to run out the remainder of this section of the B-roll. So this will be a little bit shorter. And this will also give me a little bit of uh, you know uh, different time frame or length of video to experiment with in uh, in the hyperlapse. Um, you know, because one of the pieces that I'm sort of planning, sort of just to get, kind of give you guys a heads up, is I'm tr trying to collect up a bunch of, ah, fell in a hole there, uh, video footage and things like that because winter's coming here in Michigan. Now, I do fly through the winter, you know, when, when it's nice, when it's around, you know, high 20s, low 30s, I'm okay with that, uh, especially with some of the cheaper copters because if I lose them in the drink out here, so be it. Uh, but I want to be able to have, you know, do some videos on, you know, video editing. Um, yeah, I started a little bit with sort of the Panorama series. I'm hoping they become a little bit popular. The flight videos seem to be the most popular, especially with the Spark. Um, but I'm hoping that, you know, more and more of you guys, you know, get encouraged by what I'm doing and start producing videos and things like that, too. I know I've got... Uh, a number of uh, YouTube producers, uh, you know, and especially aspiring YouTube producers, big thumbs up to you guys, uh, that are subscribers to the channel and I communicate with on a regular basis. And, and again, I want to share a little bit on how I'm doing some of this stuff, and I hope you guys also share, too, what you guys are doing and what your results are, so I know, too, because uh, I'm in a little bit of a learning process. I'm just kind of doing a pan around here again, make sure everything is still copacetic. I'm starting to come down. We should probably make it before I run out of battery. I just kind of, not that I'm getting dyslexic here, but I want to just look here at, uh, kind of digest where this is at. So I got, I got time yet because I want to, I want to get him disappearing in this B-roll. Um, so yeah, anyways, uh, again, I've done still photography for years and years and years and years, and I'm trying to take a little bit of that, apply that to the videography and cinematic editing. Um, you know, so, so far right now, I, I spent about the past, uh, it's, it's going to be coming up on a year pretty soon. It's not quite a year. Thank you, RJ Make, for getting me into this hobby. It's all your fault. Uh, but to, uh, to really start understanding the drones and things like that. Now, knock on wood, I'm starting to get to that point where I've, I'm understanding them. My flying skills have been improving and things like that. So it's getting time to... Uh, start experimenting with really what I started this channel out for was to get video footage. Also, I like modifying things. I've got DIY3DTech.com, you know from the name, Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. It's also in the URL. That I like to make things too, um, you know, to improve drone performance, extra videography, fly different cameras. And I'm now at a low battery warning, so I need to, I'm going to bring it back here. I'm not very far. So I know before I hit return to home. Now this is uh, I can't see because now the sun's blinding me. But I should be pretty close. So sorry, I need to focus on this a second because I'm going to end up over the drink because I'm seven meters out. 
Ah, there we are. Alright, I'm good now. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't going to land it in the drink. And so we're going to bring it back down. And we're going to bring it back and hopefully the seagull does not run into it. And let's bring it back here. Touch it up and over a little bit just to kind of clean it up. And we'll bring it back down for a landing. All right, we're going to save off that video. So it looks like everything is saved off. So, so that's our fourth battery. We got a lot of cool ships. We got a lot of B roll in this series. So, four parter, four batteries. Life is good. Let's hop over there, take a look at. enjoyed that um, you know it's kind of funny you take all this kind of eight minutes and plow it into you know 60 you know less than probably 60 seconds I know not sure what I'm cut them at yet but anyways hopefully you found this interesting if you did give her a big thumbs up uh, don't forget the subscribe button if you like what you see uh, again hit me up in the comments I love hearing you guys comments I love the community aspect of YouTube um, you know and if you're creating b-roll again with the spark let me know. Send me a link to your channel or your videos that you're doing it with. I'd love to see them. And hey, we'll catch you in the next episode. What's for lunch? Wendy's, of course. KFC, McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's. It's a quad fact of perfection. We'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.